After going through the stress of a divorce, dating may be the very last thing in your mind, especially if kids are involved. Yeah, but eventually, if you want to get back in the game, would you even know where to begin? So joining us now to help guide us through it all is Lily Wombo, a top matchmaker turned dating coach and founder of Date Brazen. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited to be here. Let's dive in. Yes, yeah, so let's do just that. So when is a good time or is there a good time to start dating after divorce? Absolutely. So first priority is you. You are the main character. So first you got to heal and find out who you are after this relationship ends, right? Go to therapy, fill your cup, surround yourself with the right support. When you feel like, yeah, I've got this, I've got this filling my cup thing, then it's a great time to start dating. Yeah, yeah no question about that. You got to fall in love with yourself first, right? Um, yes. How do you start a dating life after healing from divorce? And how can somebody make sure the relationship is the right one for them? That's always a question people have. Absolutely. So first, you got to learn how to trust yourself and what you want. And uh, I have three tactical next steps for women and people ready to start their dating lives after divorce. Number one, do some relationship reflection. Learn from your past. How do you want to feel in this next phase of your life? Number two, go deep with your essence-based preferences. You know how everybody has a checklist. They say they want funny, this age range, this height. I want people to go even deeper. What do you, how do you want to feel in the presence of that person? What personality traits, values do they have? Number three, create a qualifying, disqualifying question. This one is really good because we don't want you to have a pen pal. We want you to have a beautiful new relationship. Asking a question like, what's bringing you the most joy lately allows you to get intentional from the get-go. So I love true. how you prioritize healing and really finding out who you are because just from some of my friends that are divorced, I realized that their sense of self was kind of wrapped up in their marriage and being married. And now that they're not, they don't really know what they like to do. So tell us this. So someone, should you tell the person that you're dating or who you go on a date with that you are divorced? Okay, so we're bringing in that main character energy. Your divorce does not define you. And... Look, you get to feel safe in the right new relationship. So when you feel safe with this per new person, feel free to say, yeah, I've been divorced because you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person. For the right person, your divorce is just a chapter of your story. It's not your whole story. Oh, that's so true. So let's talk about age. Is age, you think, ever a barrier if somebody's looking maybe for somebody who is a little bit younger than they are? Yeah, so in the media, we do not see many stories of women post-divorce specifically, women in the second chapter of their life finding love, which is why it's so important to fill your brain with examples of people who are living their fullest lives and finding love on their terms. And Tamsin, you're an amazing example of this. You are on Instagram sharing how you found love after divorce. I think that those stories are helping people feel less alone and feel like what they want is possible. Oh, and I think the thought I'm too old is only gonna slow you down. Mm -hmm. It's only not true. It's a barrier to putting yourself out there. Yeah, I could, I could not agree more with that one. I will tell you what. There's, I think that yeah, I, I feel like anyway, you know, age has changed from what it was 10 years ago. I, I just, I don't know. It feels very different, yeah. you know. All right. Absolutely. So when divorced people are ready to date, how can they get in touch with you for a little guidance, a little help along the way? Absolutely. I love helping women get what they want in their love lives. And so you can go to datebrazen.com to get all sorts of free resources on how to claim what you want and find it in the real world and online. And I'm on Instagram at datebrazen. I love it. So let me ask you something. Now that it's kind of, mm -hmm. kind of after, you know, what we were seeing in the height of COVID, what are some of the trends that you're seeing out there and how people are dating? Are people getting out there in person more, meeting? Are they still spending more time on, online or on the apps? How does that work? I think I think it's a both and, right? There are more people than there ever have been before looking for love online. And so of course it's one resource that can be really powerful to meet somebody outside of your social circle when you use it with intention. And it's warm outside in New York at yes. least. We've got to go and approach people in person, ask mm -hmm. them questions, give them a compliment that feels genuine. Maybe even use that qualifying, disqualifying question. What's bringing you joy lately to get in intentional conversations with cute people? Because you deserve it. You're amazing. So, yes. Lily, I have a yes, question. Yes. I was actually discussing this with a coworker. When do you think, or is it appropriate, because we are in such a tech, you know, um, world, and sometimes we only know people through association 
mention in on Facebook or right, right. you know on Instagram? Is it okay to slide in that DM? Yes. Okay. Use those resources. <laughs> Ask for what you want. Truly, what do you have to lose? <laughs> I, I, I'm like, if you're if you are rooted in your worthiness, then there is no problem asking for what you want and trusting that the person you're talking to is also an adult can yeah. tell you and who can tell you what they want. Mm -hmm. Right. Again, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. So the right person is dying to be in a relationship with you. They're going to be so excited that you slid into their DMs. I love that. Right. Bring out your bold, right? <laughs> All yes. right, Lily, thank you so much for your tips. It's always good to see you. So good to see y'all. All right, take care.